Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy 10 minute everyday makeup look that I've been loving for this autumn winter season. And if you really enjoy it, I do have a second go to look that I kind of alternate and mix up with this one. So I can do that one for you also. Just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. We need to prep our skin first and I like to use a product that combines all your moisturizer, your primer, your sunscreen in one. I'm using the Dermalogica Oil Free Matte. This has SPF 30 in it. It's also part of their Medibac clearing range which is great for somebody like me who has acne prone skin. Next you want to apply some of your favorite foundation, whatever that may be. You want one that's quick and easy and blends into the skin well. I'm going to be using Max Face and Body today and I have the shade N2. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. And to apply this I just pop it a little bit onto my hands, rub my hands together and then apply it all over my face. I like the face and body too because it dries to quite a natural finish. It starts off dewy and then it goes to more skin-like which means that you look really natural and healthy during the autumn winter months. Now if your foundation has covered up everything that you need to then that's fantastic but if you're like me and have some pesky blemishes and some redness that still needs to be covered or maybe some under eye circles then now is the time to conceal. If you have a concealer that can work on both your under eyes and your face that is great. I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually have to mix two shades to make it work for me. I have light number two vanilla and light number three honey but any concealer will do. A product like a beauty blender is a great tool to apply concealer and foundation because it really applies and blends at the same time which just makes the whole process of applying makeup that much quicker. A little bit of powder will just keep everything in place and set your makeup and can even add a little bit of extra coverage too. I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I have the shade Medium Plus. When applying your powder you should try and pat it in rather than brush it or buff it in. That way you won't move that concealer and foundation that you just placed. And I'm sticking to the T-zone and just any places where I've specifically concealed blemishes to keep the rest of my skin looking really natural. I've been absolutely loving cream blushes at the moment and they really are really quick and easy to apply. I'm going to take one of the shades from the Balm's new palette, How About Them Apples. I'm going to be using this shade here which is crisp. Just using my fingers to apply, your hands are the best tools when you're in a rush. By using a rosy bronze toned blush you can really just leave your skin there, however if you do feel like you do need to add a little bit of extra bronzer, something else just to add a little bit more warmth to your face if you're feeling like you're a little bit too pale, you can use a bronzer that has a little bit of a sheen in it, that way you can skip needing to use a highlighter. I'm going to be using one of these new extra dimension bronzers from MAC, this is in Aphrodite Shell. You just want to dust this along your temple, the back of your cheekbones and your jaw. No matter how quick I'm trying to do my makeup, even every day I do like to fill in my eyebrows really because they frame the face. I find that pencil is the quickest and fastest way to fill in your brows and for that I'm using the Kevin Aquan Precision Brow Pencil. If you just fill in any sparse spaces and keep the brow shape quite natural, you'll find that you can do this really, really quickly. Although let's be honest, if given the chance, I could probably spend 20 minutes filling in my brows. I like to go in with Benefit's Gimme Brow because this can add colour and also help set your brows in place and keep them looking really natural. Once our eyebrows are all done, we're just going to do a really simple eye look. I'm going to start by priming my eyes using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is a step you can skip if you don't have any issues with oily eyelids. 
And then I'm going to go in with one of the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. This is the shade Amber Rush. It is a really, really gorgeous rose gold shade that works perfect for autumn and winter, but could probably work for spring and summer as well too. Using your fingers to apply this eyeshadow just makes it really quick, but also gives you a concentrated application. To blend it out and add depth to the crease, I'm just going to take Max Eyeshadow in Quarry. Any sort of mid-tone brown shade will work really well, particularly if it's matte. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of this underneath my lower lash line. Using a fluffy brush means that you can blend and apply at the same time. I'm going to forego eyeliner and just curl my lashes and apply a few coats of mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. When going for really simple eyeshadow looks, I like to almost over apply my mascara, but if you think it's too much, you can always pair it back a little bit. And of course, to finish off the look, we need a lip colour. I feel like a lip colour really brings the whole look together. I've got two favourites. Both of them are very similar colours, but I know that different people have access to different things. So a lip pen crayon kind of product is really, really great when you're going for a fast makeup look and it's easy to chuck in your bag. The, my favourite one at the moment is the Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm and this is in the shade 225 Sultry. I absolutely love this colour and this is the one we're going to be going for today. However, I also have been loving the Milani lipstick in the shade number 17 Plum Rose. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade and the colour match is, is almost identical to this sultry. It's just a slightly different finish as this one isn't completely matte. So you just want that really nice plummy, kind of rosy, slightly brown toned colour, which again I think is perfect for every day because it's not too dark but it's also bold enough for those autumn sort of winter months. So guys, that completes the look. I hope you enjoyed it. I did say this was for autumn and winter, but I mean, you could wear this all year round. I really, really love this color combination. And it is very simple and quick. I can do it in the morning before I go to work. I have max about 10, maybe 15 minutes if I'm lucky to put my makeup on. And this has been one of my go-to looks. Like I said at the start, I do have another look that I use quite a bit. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. And other than that, I hope you guys are all having a really, really good day. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.